Bill and Mr. Hadman followed the whatever it was that was making the trap move, and it led them to a beautiful castle in the sky. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Can you hear me? Good. So as you can tell, this is self-published. <laughs> and it starts with an inscription to my sister, who always stole my stuff. Tomorrow we are going to the zoo. Don't forget your lunch, said Mrs. Baum, Bill's teacher, on the way home. Bill saw Mr. Hatman, the storekeeper, and asked him, what's the matter? It's horrible, do you understand? Horrible. What happened? Don't you see? My candy store is missing. <laughs> How did it happen? I don't know. The first minute it was here, the next minute it was gone. Don't cry, Mr. Hatman. It's all right. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate it. Oh, Mr. Hatman. And I almost forgot. Come on, follow me. But my store. That's why you're coming home with me. Oh, murmured Mr. Hatman. Later, in Bill's room, Bill and Mr. Hatman went to work on a trap. <laughs> Bill, are you sure this thing will work? It might, but then again, maybe it won't. <laughs> Said Bill. True, sighed Mr. Hatman. Bill, supper is ready. Oh, hello, Mr. Hatman. What are you doing here? <coughs> well, you see, my store is missing. Your store has been robbed? Well, sort of. Your income tax hasn't been paid, so they closed your store. <laughs> Heavens, no. Oh, well, feel free to have supper, and since you don't have a home, you can sleep in the spare room beside Bill's room. <laughs> Bill, do you have any homework? No. All right. Well, come on, supper's ready. Come on, Mr. Hatman, let's eat. Okay, let's go down for supper. Yeah, I'm hungry, said Bill's younger brother and sister together. Who asked you? We did, the two said. Well, get lost, we have work to do. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, Bob said. Close the door on them. Good idea. So they closed the door and worked on their trap. They didn't go for dinner. At 8 p.m., Bill's mom came up and said, you boys missed supper, so I brought some up, and you can eat it if you can find time to eat it before it gets cold. You know, Mr. Hatman, I'm real hungry. Let's eat. Good idea, Bill. So the two of them ate their dinner. The next morning, Bill went to school. Today, they were going to the zoo. Mrs. Baum took roll call. At 10 a.m., Bill's class went on the bus. At 11 a.m., Bill's class got on the monorail. At 11.45, they got to the zoo and ate lunch. <laughs> Some of the children got lunch at McDonald's. After lunch, Bill and his class went to see the dolphins in the ocean section. Bill announced there was a show the class would enjoy. At 3.45, the class went back to school. At 4.30, Bill got home. Mr. Hatman greeted him and said he finished the trap. Bill congratulated him. After supper, Bill and Mr. Hatman went upstairs to Bill's room. Luckily, Bill's brother and sister were at a friend's house sleeping over, so Bill and Mr. Hatman would have some privacy to use the tra <laughs> to use the trap. At 1 a.m., the trap started to move, but nothing was there. Bill and Mr. Hatman followed the whatever it was that was making the trap move, and it led them to a beautiful castle in the sky. <laughs> Bill went in, and Mr. Hatman followed him. They saw a man sitting on a golden throne. Who are you? asked Bill. I am the great king of winds. I am the great king of winds. Haven't you heard of me? No, said Bill. By any chance, do you have a candy store called Candies Galore? Why, yes. Is it yours? Well, sort of. My friend, he said, pointing to Mr. Hatman, would like his store back, said Bill. All right, said the king of winds. He mumbled some words that they didn't understand. They chatted for a while, then all of a sudden Bill said, Mr. Hatman, it's almost morning, we have to leave. Oh, Bill, you're right, we had better get going. Too bad, we were having fun. <laughs> oh, well, you and your friend will be flown home in an air taxi and your store will be in place. Thanks for everything. In about five minutes, they were home in front of Mr. Hatman's store. Well, Bill, I guess we've solved the mystery of the missing candy store. You're welcome, Mr. Hatman. <laughs> Thank you.